What's going on guys? It's your girl T-Dub back with another video. Today I wanted to talk about something um, that's been on my mind lately. Do you guys ever remember those old school uh, life alert commercials where the lady is like, I fall I've fallen and I can't get up. We're sending help immediately, Mrs. Fletcher. See? Falling and I can't get up. And you know, she press the button and then, you know, emergency response team will like rush her house and like help her or whatever. And uh, you remember those? Yeah. Uh, so now it's like 2022 and you know, I'm pretty sure those still exist. But what I'm talking about today is those medical alert bracelets. I was cleaning around my room and I found my old medical alert bracelet here. Um, and I thought, you know, it's obviously broken. And I was like, yo, I should really probably be wearing this because uh, last week I was in the ER and, you know, thankfully I was able to drive myself to the ER um, and back. But if I wasn't able to and, you know, if I, if I wasn't in the situation I am in now and I was in enough pain to where I couldn't speak for myself and I needed someone assistance, like... This is something that would be pretty helpful, but I'm not gonna wear this uh, this bracelet particularly anymore. Uh, one, because it's broken and it's old, but it also I also wear an Apple Watch and my Whoop strap here. Um, that's enough things on my wrist for one person. So instead, I looked to the internet for something new, and I found a road this company called Road ID, and they basically make. Um, this but uh more geared for people obviously with medical conditions but also for people who live an active lifestyle and the one thing that got to me uh was actually this one i have right here on my whoop um it's it's made so that uh you can't really see it too much and i can't really show you too much because there's information on it but it fits on my whoop all right it fits on my whoop. I can barely feel it. I slept with it on to test it out to see. And the whoop already is a pretty, pretty tight fit on my wrist. And I don't even feel it. So it real, feels really nice. Uh, they also make ones that fit on the Apple Watch. Um, and they also make regular ones that are like bracelets that are more of a stretchy material um, that's not irritating um, like metal on your wrist. Uh, but you know, so I did that, but here's the thing. Um, so I have this, it has my name on it, on mine, my birthday, and then two emergency contacts, uh, their phone numbers on there. So in case if I needed, you know, they need to call a family member right away, they have that right away. But the key part of this thing is, is the My Road ID. So My Road ID is basically a service where they take all your medical information all the things like, you know, obviously that we have sickle cell, uh, your allergies, um, medications you're taking, they take that and they hold it in a database. And so what happens is uh, something, if something happened to me and I couldn't speak for myself, the first responder will be able to call the number on the bracelet um, or, or on the, the, I don't know what to call this badge. Uh, they will be able to call the number or go to the website and then they can get access to all of my medical information that I provided on the website. So they can immediately know that I have sickle cell disease, which is very important, uh, know what medications I take. And then the fact that I'm also allergic to like latex or if I was allergic to any medication, they can know right away before they try to treat me with something that can make it worse and potentially, you know, KIA, all right? But <laughs> the setup was really easy. This came in a really cool package. Um, and it was like, don't put it on until you activate it and whatnot. Um, I put it on before I activated it because I wanted to see how it fit. But you do that and then you go to the website. They have you set up. Um, after you set up, you get six months of that service. So they hold that information. They don't sell your information, by the way. Uh, everything's super safe and secure. But they hold their information for six months for free. After that is $10 a month, uh, not $10 a month, $10 a whole year. So for less than a dollar a day, well, a little bit more than a dollar a day, 
you basically you have like two years worth in like one month or over two years worth of uh, uh, my road ID. And so first responders are able to log in and access your information so that you're not caught off guard when you can't speak for yourself. Um, and that's about it. It was pretty easy to set up. Um, they ask you your questions, you fill it in to the best of your abilities. I do advise, don't be like me. Definitely have your medical information with you as you fill it out. I was filling it out as my memory was going on and I just happened to have my wallet here. So, you know, get my insurance card, but definitely have your medical information. Uh, definitely want to have be as accurate as possible. You don't want to be guesstimating anything just in case your life is on the line. So definitely do that. You can always go back and edit. That's also a thing. So if something changes and your emergency contact changes or something um, in your medical history changes, you can go back to the website and change it as much as you want. Also, this company also gives free, um, it's a lifetime warranty. So if something happens and somehow got damaged, scratched up, I can order a new one. Um, it is, it was relatively affordable. I paid like, how much did I pay? It was definitely less. It was like 30 bucks, 30 bucks for the type of, uh, badge that I wanted. And you know, they, they engrave it. It was pretty, pretty affordable. I say for the, for the effect, right? For your health, that's super affordable. Like that's totally worth it. So I suggest you guys check it out. Um, if you guys are looking for something a little bit different than, you know, your old school medical alert bracelet and say you already have things like you, you know, you wear your Apple watch or your fitness watch, Fitbit, Garmin, whatever type of watch. Um, and you don't really want to add another thing to your wrist. Definitely check that out. Um, but it's been your girl T-Dub. Um, if you made it into the video, I said, um, a lot that happened, but leave a like and subscribe. I know the last video, the audio was trash. So, you know, uh, is the audio better? Do you guys like this, um, this angle, me talking to you guys? Uh, let me know. Um, next week we have a EDC video coming at you. Uh, so what do you guys carry my sickle warriors? What do you guys carry in your bag? That's like your daily essential, um, that no one else would know unless you had sickle cell. Um, leave a comment down below and next week I'll show you mine. <laughs> it's been T-Dub and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.